Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Juniper and this is my world. And um, I started a series at the end of 2019 and it was called Tinted Tuesdays. And similar to Foundation Fridays, um, I like I like tinted moisturizers rather than foundations. And heavy foundations, let me say it that way. And um, I wanted to start a series where every Tuesday I tried out a new tinted moisturizer, tried it out on the channel, let you know what I thought about it, let you see it, and maybe it's something that you're interested in as well. However, ever since I got a flu shot back in October, I have never been so sick. <laughs> and um, I missed this Tuesday. I'm still not feeling 100% up to par, but... We're going to give it a shot. So, let's get on it. The first thing that I said, though, that I am going to be consistent with is I am going to use a primer every time. And I'm going to use the same primer. And it's Revlon's Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer. And it's the one in the... This is like a pinkish beige color. Light, light, light pink. And it's an excellent pore reducing primer. I have very large pores, mostly in my T-zone. Right here on my forehead. Very large on my nose. And right here on my cheeks. So, that will be the same during all, um, through the whole series. So, today I thought I would use Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. And I am using this in Buttercream 03 is the shade. So, let me start with a little bit of the primer. So, I missed this Tuesday because I had the flu. <laughs> and, um... It's now Friday, and I'm still ill. But it's the best I have felt since Tuesday, and I really want to be accountable to these videos, and um, I really want to... I want to be accountable, and I want to make sure... I'm getting them out there every Tuesday. Um, one thing I'm going to add this week, and it shouldn't have anything to do with the rest of my tinted moisturizer, is the Tatcha Pearl Eye Cream. It's a tinted eye cream with lots of good for you um ingredients you only need the tiniest bit the size of a piece of rice it's very moisturizing it's not like a um concealer in the sense that you need to buff it out or blend it um it just adds a hint whoa 
a hint of color, but all kinds of good peptides, antioxidants, um, hyaluronic acid, all kinds of good for you ingredients. And that's all I do for that. And this is going to last me. I mean, it's going to last forever. You use, a, they say, the size of a grain of rice. And that's about what you saw me put on there. And um, and that's all you need. Give this a good shaking. Okay. This is a little bit watery. Well thickening up as I shake it and as you know I've mentioned before I would rather not use my fingers but when you're using a tinted moisturizer I find that a sponge or a um brush soaks up so much of the color. I mean, you wouldn't use a brush to put on your moisturizer. Or at least, I'm sorry. At least, I wouldn't. So, therefore, I don't use a brush to put on my tinted moisturizer. Now, see how that's just smoothed out and evened out the colors of my cheek compared to this side. That's why I like tinted moisturizers. Thankfully, I do not have, I've, I've never had a problem with acne. And besides a little adolescent, you know, a little adolescent acne that I think a lot of us went through. And thankfully, I don't have a problem with adult acne. So, I don't have a lot that I need to cover up besides wrinkles. And the moisturizer, well, the primer lets the moisturizer just gloss right over those wrinkles, I feel. And see how much now my face is a little red from rubbing it. But see how it's just evened out? You can still see a little bit of that red patch that I've always had there. See if we can build this up a little bit. A little bit. Okay. So then since... I still don't know how to edit. I am going to be turning the camera off. And... Put on the rest of my face, which is not going to be a whole lot today because I just still really do not feel well. And then I will see you right back here. Just a minute. Okay, I am back. And this is what I came up with. Um, I think my skin looks great. Um, the only texture I have to um, eliminate is 
pores. Um, but I think that the uh, primer does a good job in laying down an even canvas for that. Um, and I will list down below what I used. But another product that I used that I had not been using is the It Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. And I've been doing that, and I think it's done a great job at blurring pores. Now, one thing that I had asked for help with in the past, is helping to lighten this area that my eyebrows create a shadow. And I think my new face, um, if you had watched my five favorite products I'll list it down below and my new face which is in the bathroom right now um is my number one favorite product I think it's really doing a good job at opening up my face it's giving me good um form for my cheekbones and it's helping out with my jowls but it's also helping my 11s and I have two ridges right there that it's really helping. It's also helping raise my eyebrows which will help the shadows. It's only a temporary fix. So, I used this Billion Dollar Brows um, Concealer. I used the highlighter end on it this morning to highlight that area to try to lighten it a little bit. But I could still use some help if anybody has any ideas. Almost what kind of makeup perhaps a man would use to help hide where his beard and mustache would be coming in. Or a woman would use if she has thicker uh, hair in the mustache and chin area. Um, and it's on the tip of my tongue, the coverage, the product. It starts with a C. And I know Tati's talked about it that it'll cover anything. I'm going to have to look that up. But right now, I think it just looks terrible. If I could just get those hoisted up somehow. Anyway, this is the look I came up with. It's not tacky at all. It's very powdery. It doesn't gather. Um, it's very nice. I really like it. I hope you liked it too. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And leave a comment. If you have any suggestions on what I can do to help cover this dark patch um, on, on my um, brow bone. And um, 
what tinted moisturizers do you like? Or would you like me to try? So, that's it for my video. I hope wherever you are, you are happy, healthy, and safe. And until my next video, peace.